Hello there, it's Peter here again from peachesandscreams.co.uk. Now, just before we get into the subject of today's video, I'd like to have a quick little chat with you. Is that okay? Now, we've put together quite a few videos now on various aspects of sexual play and bedroom fun, and we're slowly building up some regular viewers. So, wouldn't it be great if we got some sort of interaction flowing between us? What I'm thinking about here is comments left below the videos. What about sharing your opinions, your experiences, both good and not so good of course, or any other comments you'd like to make on the subjects we're covering on any of the videos or anything else to do with sex toys and bedroom fun. You can comment anonymously if you want to or we can mention you and your comments in future videos if you'd like, just let us know. So please feel free to leave a comment, good or bad, below any of the videos. Okay, so for today's video, I thought we'd take a little look at electro sex. If you've never heard of electro sex, well, now's the time to learn all about it as we bring you a beginner's guide to electro sex. Electro stimulation sounds like something that is immensely risky and a source of unlimited pain. Well, this is true, but only if you indulge without the proper equipment and with no respect for the safety precautions that come with the practice of electric stimulation. To fully enjoy the perks that come with zapping your skin, there are basic rules and guidelines that you need to adhere to. So first of all, let's look at safety. So, some safety tips for you now. Do not indulge if you have an existing heart condition, a pacemaker, epilepsy, or are currently pregnant. So that's tip number one. Also, do not apply the electronic stimulation on any part of the body that is above the waistline. Do not apply electric current on broken or irritated skin. Do not use piercings as electrodes. Do remove any body piercings and jewellery as they may become hot during stimulation, causing burns, and do hydrate before the beginning of the session. Okay, so that's the warnings out of the way. So, where do you start with electro sex? Stepping into the world of electro stimulation may be daunting at first on account of all the toys that are available, each one seemingly scarier than the last one. Taking it one step at a time is the best way to approach this. And the beginner's kit will be the best choice you can make. The kit has all the items you need to start you off, making sure that you get the hang of it step by step. With the power units and accessories included in the kit, all you get to do is find your favourite toy to attach to the kit. And don't forget, you can get the kits at Peaches and Screams. So now, attaching the electrodes. There are numerous places to attach the electrodes, but with research and trials, there are a few specific places that have proven more effective than others. Getting the most out of your session is the most important factor in electrostimulation, ensuring that you do not waste your time. So first of all, what are these places or where are these places for men? With one probe on the outside of the left buttock and the other probe on the inside of the right butt cheek, enjoy the pulses as they activate your behind and send stimulating sensations into your ass. For frontal stimulation, attaching an electrode to each crease where the thigh meets the abdomen is bound to send jolts of pleasure reverberating through that area. Now let's take a look at the places where you can use electro stimulation for the ladies, for the women. Okay girls, the crease where the thigh meets the abdomen is a great place to start. By placing a probe on each side, it'll give you the chills by sending pleasure waves that get you feeling sufficiently stimulated. 
The inside of the lower leg, just above the ankle bone, is a great way to send shock waves throughout your whole body, getting you shaking with pleasure and begging to feel the zap again. Okay, let's now look at conductive gel. For external accessories, only use electroconductive gel. The gel evenly spreads out the stimulation area, ideal for those who are not ready for concentrated power in one area. However, only use the gel where and when advised. The gel also helps in reducing the skin resistance as dry skin has a higher resistance to electric current flow and applying the gel eases the flow, ensuring a pleasurable experience. For more information on when to apply the gel, always read the toy guides to determine whether the toy is compatible with the gel or not. For internal accessories, always use a water-based lubricant. The lubricant increases sensitivity and intensifies the stimulation, making your session even more exciting. Never use silicon-based lubricants as silicon acts as an insulator, greatly lowering the intensity of the electric stimulation. Moreover, electrostimulation toys are silicone based and using a silicone based lubricant may greatly degrade the toys. And next, let's look at cleaning. Keeping your sex toys clean is a fundamental part of practicing safe sexual interactions. That goes without saying, doesn't it? With electro toys, just unplug your toy and clean thoroughly with a toy cleaner and water. Always make sure to dry the toy completely before using again. Always ensure you prevent water from getting into the plug area and if by chance it happens, thoroughly dry it before using it again. It's all common sense really, isn't it? And next we'll look at aftercare. Once the session is over, the skin may be a little tender and you may feel a bit of a sting. Muscle soreness is a common occurrence, so make sure to treat the area with care and apply moisturiser if you can. Okay, so there you have it, beginner's guide to electrostimulation. So thanks for watching this video, give us the thumbs up if you like it and don't forget you can get all your favourite toys at peachesandscreams.co.uk We have new products each week so you'll be sure to find something new <laughs> and why not subscribe to the Peaches and Screams YouTube channel for more guides, tips and reviews and don't forget to also, as I was saying earlier, do please feel free to leave a comment below and let's have some interaction between us. My name's Peter, have fun and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.